Peace and love, Virgo. Peace and love. And welcome to my channel, Ratchet Oracle 22. This is going to be your April 2023 message. I do hope that this message finds you in peace, love, and prosperity. Y'all hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when the readings are posted on this channel. Let's see what the spirits have for you for the month of April. Shuffling for Virgo. All right, you have the Sagittarius card, okay? The highest ideals, get out into the world, okay? Wisdom, knowledge, insight, understanding. You could have Sagittarius highly expected in your chart or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, you also have here Mercury, it says communicate and analyze, okay? We're going to do one more. All right, that wants to come out. You have Leo. You could be dealing with the Leo or you can have Leo highly aspected in your chart. So Virgos, y'all are definitely um, in, there's a fire sign in the mix here. You got Leo in Sagittarius here. But what this spread is telling me is that you have to put yourself out there, okay? The Leo card is the confidence card, and it says taking a chance. The Mercury card says analyze, and then the Sagittarius card says get out, out there into the world. So there's something you're trying to achieve. There's something that you are trying to manifest, and you have to put yourself out there. You have to market yourself. You have to have faith. You have to take a leap of faith, okay? I feel like April is really the month where you're going to have to sit down and communicate what it is that you want with the world around you. Some of you guys could be feeling like you're not getting the support that you want from the people around you, but you're not, you're also not letting people know what your needs are. Okay. So if you feel like your needs aren't being met, you you need to find better ways to communicate your needs. Now, Mercury rules your sign, Virgo. It rules Gemini and Virgo. Okay. So this Mercury card is you. And I feel like you're trying to make some things happen and you really need to do the research behind what you are trying to make happen. Don't just make an impulsive decision or don't just expect things to happen for you or kind of fall out the sky, okay? Know that you're going to have to put in the work. You're going to have to do the research, okay? And then you're going to have to put yourself out there. People have to know who you are, but people also have to know what your needs are in order to meet those needs, okay? So I feel like this could be a situation where you're not speaking up about your needs. You're just expecting other people to know, or you're not speaking up about what you, your wants or your desires, but you're expecting other people to know. And you have to communicate, okay? You may think that it's a given. You may think that others should just know, but they don't know. And I feel like it's time to take a chance on yourself, okay? And there could be some type of miscommunication with the Leo here, all right? Let's see. But Leo is all about that strength and that, that bravery as well, Virgo. So I feel like you're definitely going to have to be brave this month. You're going to have to take many leaps of faith, okay? You, like operating out of fear this month is not ever going to serve you, but it's definitely not going to serve you in the month of April, okay? You have the five of spring here. It says opposing goals arising from difference in, in opinions, feeling at odds with yourself and others. Yeah, that's just confirmation, okay? You could be arguing with the Leo or a Sagittarius, okay? Or it, there, I just feel like there's some type of miscommunication, but I feel like you're not expressing yourself clearly or someone else isn't, okay? But there is miscommunication this month. Don't let it get to you. Yeah, this could be the father of your child or the mother of your child with the emperor card here. It says use your logic and structure to increase your success and get more organized. So that's what I said. You got to do the research. You have to do the analytical work. Okay. You got to know the ins and outs. So if this is something that you're trying to accomplish, look at other people who've already accomplished it. Research them. Figure out how they got there, okay? But someone's definitely having a communication issue with the mother or the father of their child or either your mother or your father, okay? Especially if this person is a Leo or a um, Sagittarius, okay?
yeah you have the six of summer here <laughs> this is definitely about children okay the card literally says children or childhood the return of people or romances from your past remembering events differently in a better or worse light than, than they actually occurred okay so there is definitely an argument with a parent about something that happened in your childhood or there's some childhood traumas being triggered or there is a argument with the other parent of your child if you have children okay something's not right i'm seeing the number five four six here okay so five, four, six could be significant some way, shape, or form. That's a 15, which is a six, okay? And six is you, Virgo. You're the sixth zodiac. So you're definitely not seeing eye to eye with someone, okay? But I feel like the communication is what needs to get better, all right? I feel like there's a disagreement about a child or if you don't have children or if this isn't about your child, there is a disagreement about something that happened to you in your childhood. Yeah. And look at the pregnancy here. Look at this. This is the death card. Okay. So there's an ending here. You guys could be arguing over something that ended. Okay. I feel like maybe one person wanted something to end and the other person didn't. So now there's like this um, resentment or something going on. But the death card is also transformation, okay? And I feel like for someone, you could have a deceased parent, okay? There could be a deceased parent and you're being triggered. Your emotions are being triggered because there could be some type of childhood trauma. Some of you could have had a parent who passed away when you were a child, and you had to grow up without a parent or something like that, okay? But Virgo, there's definitely some um, transformations happening here, okay? With this death card, Scorpio energy, okay? I feel like you may have been with the other parent of your child. That may have ended. That's the death. And then the rebirth of the Scorpio death card, okay? Now you're having to start over. And there's arguments, okay? Because you have... You have to separate some things. Yeah, the higher thing. Someone definitely got a divorce or you're in the process of getting a divorce, okay? Or you were in a separation. You're not with the person that who you had a child from for some of you, okay? Because the higher thing is the marriage card, okay? And I, I just feel like there's a lot of confusion now that it's time to separate things for some of you. There's a lot of confusion, or some of you, this is you witnessing the divorce of your parents, okay? And that could have been the childhood trauma that was caused, okay? Maybe your parents argued all the time, okay? Now, you have the Six of Pentacles coming out in reverse here. You don't feel like someone's helping you enough, okay? Especially if you have a child. You don't feel like you're getting the help that you need. You don't feel like you can depend on this person, the other parent of your child, to help you. Okay, they're not paying child support. They're not helping you financially. Okay, and this person could definitely be a fire sign. Okay, this person is in dark energy. Okay, but hang on in there, Virgo, because you got some good news coming. Okay, some of y'all could have recently took this person to court to put them on child support. But with the six of pentacles in reverse, they're not helping you take care of your child. Or again, like I said, for some of you, this is the parent. This is your parents. Okay, this is something you witnessed growing up. And these memories are being triggered this month. You have the Four of Swords here. Yeah. Holding on. Holding on to pain. You have the Five of Cups. Someone's grieving the loss of a relationship or grieving the loss of the, a parent. And no matter how long ago this happened, it seems like you someone can't let go. You're holding on to that pain. You're holding on to the hurt of your past. Yeah, but Ace of Cups here, there's a potential for a new beginning, Virgo, but you got to let go of the past, okay? There is a potential for a new beginning once you let go of the past. Yeah, choices to make with the Two of Swords, Libra Energy. I feel like you're going to, if this person is not showing up, you just going to have to let them deal with the consequences of their own actions, okay? Whether it's a parent or a spouse. 
Knight of Pentacles. That's you, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So that's what I feel like the message is, okay? There's there's conflict, okay, with you and either a parent or a parent of your child, okay? And I feel like it's because this person's not doing their part, okay? Or this person didn't do their part and you're being triggered. But you're just going to have to do your part and let them reap the consequences of their own actions okay Virgo that's what I have for you peace